Well, hello everyone, it's the MI Gardener, and hopefully you can hear me. I'm not filming on my fancy dancing camera. That's actually got no battery card and no battery. So we're charging that, getting a new battery and a new memory card and whatnot. But we're doing it on a phone, so hopefully you can hear me. We were driving by and we saw a community garden. I wanted to stop and just tell you guys that there are things growing on here in Naples, Florida. Actually, not really Naples, we're in Marco Island, which is just a little bit south of Naples. Beautiful place. Um, and so they got some kale growing here. I was really happy to see that. And uh, it's just, it's really cool to see them growing things when we got three feet of snow up in Michigan still. So uh, let's go around and check this out. Um, it's a really well-maintained community garden, actually. I was really happy. And there's some cool stuff over in the corner that I definitely want to point out. So come on along with me. So we were walking along here. We saw these caterpillars here. And a lot of people would think that this is a, actually a bad thing. But in terms of beauty, these are some of the most beautiful caterpillars, not because of the fact that they're eating this parsley here, which they're probably not too happy about, but I'm happy because these are monarch butterfly caterpillars. And it's a very beautiful thing to see these wonderful monarch butterfly caterpillars munching away on this parsley. It's a beautiful parsley plant. It's very well fed, but there's one, two, three, four, five. There's at least seven to 10 monarch butterfly caterpillars just munching away. And I no doubt that if, that if we didn't uh, pluck these away, that this plant could possibly be gone in about a week, maybe two weeks of them munching. Because there's even a baby one there that I didn't see. So they're going to be having a feast. And uh, if the owner does not uh, want these here, then they're going to, you know, if they don't want to have monarch butterflies, then they're going to have no parsley. It's also nice to see that they have an active garden here. They've obviously harvested their broccoli. And just as a side note for everyone, leave your broccoli because you get these little side florets that come on on the side of your broccoli. You can actually get harvest a lot into the uh, summer once you harvest the main head here. And they have a lot of broccoli. They also have some beans here. They have some bush beans. It's really nice to see that they're doing a lot of high intensity gardening. Also, one thing that they're doing that's awesome is they're mulching. Mulching, I like to see the mulch because it reduces the amount that you have to weed. And, um, and any weeds that you do have, you know, uh, here in Florida, they have really big, bad sawgrass. But I mean, those weeds just pop right up and um, I'm sure they wouldn't mind me pulling some weeds for them. So I was also really happy to see that they're growing a lot of different variety here. This person that owns this square, maybe it's the same person, but they have some beautiful, beautiful butter crunch lettuce here, and it looks amazing. I mean, I'm surprised this stuff is not bolting. It is terrific, it's looking great. They also have some red Russian kale, which is a thumbs up for growing different types of kale. Not many people know about that. And then they also have uh, different types of beans here. They definitely have some purple beans and some green beans here, which is awesome to see. And they also have what looks to be a potato. They're growing some potatoes here. Maybe they grew them last year and they're coming up. Maybe they're actually intentionally trying, but they do have some beautiful beans coming on here. And um, I'm really happy to see them growing some, growing some different variety here with the space that they have. And I just walked across this bed and I wanted to point out something that they're doing awesome in this bed that I definitely give them a two double thumbs up. Uh, this is a great example of high intensity gardening. They have the uh, marigolds here that are to prevent beneficially their organic pesticide that some insects don't like the scent of marigolds. So they have the marigolds here to prevent insects. Then they also have their brassicas, their beans, their eggplants, and it's all interplanted in a very strategic square foot method here. It's definitely planned out very well, and whoever owns this square is doing a great job with their high intensity gardening. Much better than some of the other beds. Uh, I'd actually say it's probably one of my favorite beds just because of the production in the square foot. So I'm gonna close really briefly by these papayas. I think they're doing a great job of making use of their space. A lot of people just tend to put it in an edge row and say, let's just throw some shrubs there. But these people are actually using their space efficiently to grow food, so that's an awesome thumbs up. They got some beautiful papayas here, and they have not one, but two, three, four, five, at least probably 10 or 12 beautiful papayas that are fruiting and producing food that would more or less just be wasted like this lot over here you see. It's just a barren lot, and that's really sad that that actually goes wasted. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We will hopefully have more for you all, but as always, this is Emma Gardner reminding you to grow big or go home, and I'll talk to you all later. See ya. Bye.